PayPal is a leading online payments company that provides an easy way to safely send and receive payments online. Many business operators use PayPal to accept payments from customers online, for example, for products sold from a web store. PayPal offers both business and personal accounts. In this video, we will cover the steps for setting up a PayPal business account. Before you start, make sure you have your ABN handy. You will need one, even if you are a sole trader. Signing up for a PayPal business account. Start by going to paypal.com.au and then click on sign up. The first thing to check here is that PayPal knows which country you'll be operating in. See the drop down list under the heading your country or region. Make sure it says Australia. If not, click on the list and then click on Australia. You then need to click get started in the business account box. You're now on the first of three sign-up pages and you can see you will need to scroll down to complete it. You will see there are two boxes for choosing your category of business and subcategory. You need to select your category first before you'll be able to choose a subcategory. When you enter your business address you are asked to click match my address. This opens a pop-up screen as PayPal accesses Australia Post records to confirm if your address is authentic. This usually works well, but when it doesn't, PayPal will ask you to send in extra information to prove your address. Further down the page, you add your personal details like your date of birth and phone numbers. When you add your residential address, click Match My Address for PayPal to confirm your address through Australia Post Records. Click Continue. On this page, you'll start by entering your ABN and mailing address. Then PayPal asks whether you are politically exposed. A politically exposed person is someone who is a politician or senior judge or has a senior role within the military or a religious organisation. According to PayPal, this question relates to Australia's anti-money laundering legislation. Click Continue. You're now on the final screen of the sign-up process. Here you enter your email address and create a password. You then get to choose two security questions. Try to choose options that would be hard to guess by other people. PayPal will use your answers here as a security check if you ever forget your passwords and or lose access to your email address. So keep your answers simple and easy to recall many years down the track. Finally, you need to tick boxes to declare you understand what you are doing and what PayPal can do to check your information. For more details on what PayPal can do with your information, click Privacy at the bottom of any page on the PayPal website. This brings us to the capture code at the bottom of the page. Do your best to type the numbers or letters in the box. Make sure you use capital or lowercase letters to match the sample text exactly. Click Sign Up. This screen reminds you to check your email to confirm your email address. This is the email you get sent to confirm you do own the email address you used. Although it is usually unwise to click on links in emails, the exception is when you're expecting an email and it arrives within seconds of you causing it to be sent. This is one of those cases. You can safely click on the button in the email called Confirm Email. This takes you back to PayPal where you can now log in with the email address and password you registered. Connecting a bank account to your PayPal account. During your first visits to PayPal, you will see a small link on the My Account Overview page prompting you to Get Verified. Click the Get Verified link to start the process. What PayPal wants to do is connect your PayPal account to a bank account or credit card and confirm you control these accounts. Because you will need to connect to a bank account at some stage for transferring money from your PayPal account into your bank account, let's choose that option. In the box called Confirm Your Bank Account, click Get Started. Enter your bank details and click Continue. What happens next is that PayPal will deposit two small amounts of money into your bank account, which you will need to verify as part of the confirmation process. Set a reminder to check your bank account online in a few days' time so you can see what the two random amounts are. It will just be a few cents. When that happens, log into PayPal again and click on the Get Verified link in the My Account Overview screen. 
you can enter the deposit amounts into a screen and if they match, your account will be verified and you will be ready to operate fully as an online business person. PayPal has made it quick and easy to send and receive payments online. Enjoy using your PayPal business account for your online business transactions.